Well, howdy do. Today I thought I would do something that I haven't done. I think six months was the last time I did a vinyl haul, but today we're gonna be doing a big vinyl haul. Ever since moving to Milwaukee for the summer, I have collected so many vinyl. It's kind of overwhelming, so this is gonna be a little bit longer, but I'm excited because I like watching vinyl hauls, so I think doing one is fun. These videos never usually do really well for me, but I always like watching them. They're fun to watch other people do it, so we're gonna do a vinyl haul. I have them separated into four categories around me because there's so many and I don't want them to be all over the place. Also, it is so hot in here. I have my window open, so if you hear cars, I'm so sorry. I have Nevermind by Nirvana's 30th anniversary box. Can't show the baby, it's bad. <laughs> There are, I believe, four different LPs in here that are live shows, and then there's a big photo book, and then there's a little seven inch. So I guess the first category that I'll start with is soundtracks. I'm really excited for this one. So first up, I have Her's Original Score by RK Fire. I believe this one is only black, but I had this sent to me, oh no, it's not black. I had this sent to me a while ago from a random follower of mine. I cannot remember who it is, but they were like, hey, I work with whoever released this, Sony maybe? I don't know, whoever released this, they work with them and they're like, yeah, we have some extra copies. Would you like one? And I was like, yes, I would absolutely love one. So this was a very kind gift. And with that, they sent me the soundtrack for Minari. I have yet to watch this movie. It looks very intriguing. Yes, this record, it's so pretty. I don't know if you can see it that well without the glare from the window, but sticking to my hair. It's like an opaque pink marble. It's very pretty. Again, I have yet to watch this movie. Maybe I will. I believe it's just a cute like coming of age movie. It's Cool. And then next, I guess this isn't like a movie soundtrack or anything, but I guess it is kind of a soundtrack. I have Cowboy Bebop soundtrack, two LPs. Like, look at how freaking cool this is. This first one, oh, it's so cool. All I'm gonna say about these vinyl in this whole video is this is cool. But um, we got a purple lavender little splatter and then kind of the same dealio, it is red. It's like a red orange-ish type of color. Very cool. I need to find another word that is not cool. This is gonna get annoying very fast. And then the last soundtrack I have that I got recently is Porco Rosso. It's so cute. This movie I feel like is the least appreciated studio. I don't know if it's Ghibli or Ghibli, but I say Ghibli. It's very underappreciated. It's only black, so I'm not gonna show you, but the soundtrack reminds me of being at like Six Flags or an amusement park. It's very fun. This whole movie is very fun. It's not too exciting, but it's very cute, funny. It's not too sad. Oh, it's so cool. Really excited that I have this one. The next one I want is Kiki's Delivery Service. I'm on the lookout for that where it's not a million dollars. <laughs> so the next little section I have is a little smaller. I don't know how to categorize these bands. I have Squid's Break Green Field. This pressing is very pretty. We got a little peachy boy. I'm not gonna say it. I literally almost said the C word. We're not gonna say it. I don't even know how you would describe Squid. I wanna say like noise rock. I really don't know at this point. A lot of funky sounds. This is a really good album though if you haven't listened to it yet. And then I have Ants From Up There by Black Country New Road. This one, I also believe it's black. Yeah, this one's just black so I won't show you. This one and Squid, I feel like those two bands kind of pair well with each other. I don't know why. I kind of thought I'd put them in their own category, but yes, I have this one. I really love the artwork for this album as a whole. It's very creative. I don't know. I enjoy it a lot. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know what to go next. Okay, so these next two categories are the biggest ones. We'll do emo since I have a bigger emo fan base. <laughs> I recently got Drug Church's Hygiene. This is their newest album. It is white, blue, yellow with a hint of green. Ta -da. I need to figure out more describing words instead of saying cool. Yeah. <laughs> so this next one I think I got for like seven dollars. So cheap, but it is Brave Birds. Maybe you, no one else, worth it. I'm so blessed. It is such a great find. When I saw it, I was like, I didn't even know that they'd press this, but it's cool. I love finding cheap, good vinyl. <laughs> so this next one I found with the Brave Bird pressing and this one was again, super cheap. I think I got this one for two bucks. I can see why, but also, I don't know, two bucks. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it is Dowsing Haverford Run Forever and Captain We're Sinking, a little split. I mean, I can see why it was so cheap because none of these bands really popped off. I wish they did, but love the pressing. It's a very deep blue. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty flimsy. It's just kind of like a piece of paper. So it makes sense why it was so cheap. Next up is an Elvis Depressed, the album that I found in the U section once again. I never know how to say the name of this album. It's new Alabra, Alabra, Alambra. I don't know if it's hard to see on camera, but it's a very deep purple. There's kind of some swirlies in it too. And then I have Knocked Loose's A Tear in the Fabric of Life. I got this one from Newberry. They kindly sent it as a nice birthday gift for me. Ta-da! Oh, this is so cool. Just says A Tear in the Fabric of Life. 
people used to get so triggered when I would touch the vinyl. <laughs> it is a gray, black, and a deep red. I always think it's funny having hardcore albums on vinyl because it's like, sometimes I just think that's not the right format for it, but that's okay, that's okay. I have Snowings, I could do whatever I wanted if I wanted. Got this one on a little sale from Count Your Lucky Star Records. Count Your Lucky Stars Records, I think there's an S. It is hot pink, love it. I'm trying really hard not to say cool right now, and let me tell you, I'm like, oh, it's so hard not to say this is cool. <laughs> And then I guess this one isn't really emo, it's more Scram's emo violence, but this is Hawak's new album. I don't know how to pronounce that, I apologize. But I just saw them last week and I saw this at the little vinyl table they had and I was like, I need this. It is yellow, yellow is my favorite color. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Really, really love these guys. They're very talented. Watching them live was a lot of fun. I couldn't recommend them enough if you like scrams. And then they were kind enough to give me a split that they have as well. It is called a cube. It's a six way split with Hawak, Joliet, Our Future is an Absolute Shadow, Islet, Ellie, Ella, and Burial Etiquette. A lot of great bands on that one. I honestly, okay, I didn't even look at this yet because I've been so busy, but holy Toledo. This is really cool. <gasps> I said the seaweed. This is so rad. <laughs> okay, this is like a blue blob in the middle and it's clear. I'm kind of trying to go fast. So I don't want this to be too long, but we're moving on to the last section. And this is kind of like the softer indie acoustic kind of stuff. So I got this record a few days ago. It is Ben Queller's Sha Sha. This album to me, if you think of Scrubs, this is what this album reminds me of. It's just the embodiment of Scrubs. It's that fun like indie alt rock, garage rock type of feel. It's very chill. Kind of reminds me of Pay maybe a little bit more happy sometimes, but really love this album. was really excited to see it at the record store, so I had to get that. And then Newberry was kind enough. They sent me three. The next one is also from Newberry, but they sent me Elliot Smith's New Moon. This is a double LP, and it is blue, white, and clear. Da -da -da. And then like I said, this next one is also from Newberry for a little birthday gift that they gave me, and it is a Plantasia. If you have plants, I could not recommend this album enough. It helps them grow, I promise. Look at how fun that is. It almost looks like it could be glow in the dark. I don't know if it is. There's nothing on there that says it is, but it is like a glow in the dark green with a little gray blob in the middle. All right, and the next few I have are also my q and I was talking about how I'm kind of getting into vaporwave, so I apologize if I pronounce any of these wrong. I am not well versed in this. I don't know how to pronounce this stuff. So I have Sunday Television by the S Corp. I don't know if it's S Corp channel. I don't know. I apologize, but this album cover reminds me of a cloud. Obviously just white and sky blue. Can you see my hair sticking to this right now? I can see it in the corner of my eye and it's driving me nuts. It reminds me of listening to like an 80s news channel almost. It's really fun. In this one I got the other day. It is, again, I apologize, Esk K or Esk Only So Much Time. This one is also only black, so I won't show you. The album cover is a really fun texture. It's very soft. The album cover is very neat. Again, this is that fun vaporwave, very chill stuff. Highly recommend it. And this next one is one of my favorites of the three. It is Windows 96 Enchanted Instrumentals and Whispers. <laughs> this pressing is... <gasps> oh, it's so fun. It is orange with some hot pink splatter and kind of some red splatter in there as well. We're almost done. So I got this one a while ago. This is Aubrey Key's cow. I love Aubrey Key. So sweet. And this vinyl matches it perfectly. It reminds me of a cow. It's so fun. I got white with black splatter. I don't know. Can you see my hair? <laughs> I have saved the best for last, my friends. I have DSU by Alex G. Oh. So good. So this one I was gonna do for my vinyl giveaway, but I ended up not doing it because another one came in the mail that I was trying to get whatever. But this one, it is pressed from their 2013 or 14 tour with Elvis Presley. So it's kind of rare and I got it for really cheap, which again, I'm very surprised, but it is translucent red. Can't believe I have this. I do have another pressing of DSU, but it came warped and it's like a baby pink. Very sad about that, but really excited that I have this now. Oh. Oh man, that was a lot, I'm sweating. But yeah, those are all the vinyl that I've gotten over the past six months, I believe, since I did the last one. A lot more than I've usually gotten. It's been really fun to go vinyl shopping in person, actually, because I'm close to record stores again for a little bit. It's been a lot of fun. If you stuck around, thanks for watching this long. I really appreciate it. Comment down below vinyl you've gotten recently. I'd love to hear. I love watching these kinds of videos and seeing like what kind of records people pick up and stuff like that. So if you got anything cool, let me know. I'd love to know. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye. Bye.